Hi everyone, my name is Gareth and I am from Community Relations in Schools, or CRIS for short. Today I am going to be talking about Buddy Up, which is Chris's award-winning model for building relationships between two school communities, between pupils and staff and between families. More specifically, I'm going to be exploring how we can creatively connect classrooms and pupils while they might not be able to come together physically. So we're going to be looking at some ways in which pupils from different schools can have that sense of connection while they work through our Buddy Up online programs at Key Stage 1 and Key Stage 2. I have asked some friends, some teachers who are buddying up their classes at the minute and some pupils who are interested in buddying up soon to join me to chat and to see if they can come up and share any of their ideas for how shared work can continue between schools. Oh, right, sorry. Hold on, that's actually one of them now. That's Fred the Moose from Edenbury Polar School calling. So let me just take this. Okay. Hello? Hello. Hi, Fred. Hi, how's it going, man? Hi, Gareth. Uh, yeah, not too bad. Just back from school. Glad to hear it. Glad to hear you're back at school. Things must be a wee bit different this year, though. Yeah, I mean, I'm, I'm happy to be back. Although the teacher told yeah. me that everyone would be in a big bubble, ah, and I don't see okay. any bubbles, and I guess I like bubbles, so no, yeah. I can, I can see why that would be confusing, but um, how can I help today? Uh, right, Gareth, I'm, I'm calling because last year I did that buddy up thing with another school. Yeah. And, uh, yeah, I, I remember that with um, Holy Frost and Edenbury Polar Schools. That was, that was a lot of fun. Yeah, I mean, we, we, we had a good time. So I just wanted to ask if we'd be buddying up and do buddy up this year. Yeah, uh, yeah, I think we can still do that this year. It won't cool. be exactly the same. We won't be able to come together in one big room and play games. But right, I okay. think we can still connect up your classes in some way if you'd like that. Right. Oh, that sounds good. Um, okay. Uh, can I can I help you at all with with that? Okay. Or... So I am going to connect you up with a couple of friends of mine, two teachers who are buddying their classes up you at the minute. Teachers. You can ask them some questions, and maybe they can give you some tips. Me? You want me to? You want me to chat to teachers? Teachers? No. Uh, do I have to go in the staff no. room, Gareth? Or... Fred, they're lovely. They're lovely. Honestly, okay. you don't have to go in the staff room either. Is that okay? Okay, yeah. Fred's got this. I got this. Um, uh, oh, shall I call them now? That would be right. good. Brilliant. Glad to hear it. Sure. I'll send the details through to you now, okay? Okay. Okay, thanks, Gareth. Uh, I'm going to go All now. Right. See you later. Yeah, see you later, man. Mom, Bye. Mom, we're going to buddy up this year. <laughs> Fred, Fred, Fred. Hello. Hi. Hello. Uh, how's it going? It's good. It's okay. good. Who are, who are you? I am Rebecca Morris and I am the P3 teacher in Sacred Heart Boys oh. Primary School. Okay, good to meet you, Rebecca. Good to meet you. And I am James Kellen Aiken and I am the P3 teacher here at Valley Shalom Primary School. Okay, so yeah, good to meet you guys. So uh, Gareth, I uh, don't know if you know Gareth, he uh, he told me you guys were doing some some buddy up stuff. So um, I'm just here to, to chat about that for, for a couple of minutes, not much, just a couple of minutes and see what we can do over. I'm at Eden Burry Polar School and my friend is at Holy Frost. So just to see what you're doing, see if there's any ideas, okay? Um, okay. So I guess like, why why do you think why do you think it's uh, why do you think it's important for uh, for kids to be doing doing this even even when they can't come together like you know in the same room and stuff? Um, I would say that hard work is actually even more important now than it ever has been before. Um, the classroom at the minute is quite a closed space. Yeah. We're stuck in our bubbles and we're all together in one room. We can't go anywhere and no one can come yeah. in. So the children themselves feel slightly isolated within their own bubbles. So yeah. it's great to allow the children that chance to meet with another school virtually and see what other children are doing and also talk about what the other children are going through, which are similar to the things that the children in my class are going through. 
So they're able to see that they're not on their own and everybody in fact is having these hard times but we can all get through it together and even though we're not there in person we can still do all the lovely things that we could always do before. Well, that's great, that's great. Um, I guess I guess you, you might feel a little bit like that too, you know, because you're in that classroom as well. Um, Absolutely, I think everything that, that Ms. Norris has said there is so true and, and I think it's really important for all of us to remember that even during strange times like this, we're still able to maintain those connections with each other. Um, we've been working with each other now for a few years and so okay. we can get to know each other as well and being able to show them that just because times are a little bit strange and different, we are still able to keep in touch with people uh, and even make new connections and new friends uh, and being able yeah. to share that experience with them is really special. So yeah, it's brilliant. That's great. That's great. It, sound, it sounds like it sounds like a, you've, you've sold it to me. You've sold it to me. Um, so like, what are, what are you guys doing, you know, to, to connect your classrooms? How does it, how does it work? How does it work at Ballysillon and Sacred Heart? Well, we're hoping to, this, this term, we've been taking part in a lot of, of the online programs through the Buddy Up website. So we've been doing the same things um, as, as we've been doing over there at Sacred Heart Boys Primary School. Um, so we know that we're sharing that experience with them, which is really special and actually means quite a lot for us to know that we're, we're doing the same thing, although it may be yeah. at the moment. And we've been making use of brilliant things like Zoom mm -hmm. um, to make connections and to stay in touch with each other. And we're hoping as well, and we'll be planning, we're in the process of planning, uh, a celebration, a party that we'll have together. Um, and we'll, we'll join up together again in, on online to just celebrate coming into the end of the program together and having done something that's so new that has been so successful um, and we're hoping and planning a, a bit of a movie experience with each other and a time together to, to celebrate that well what are, what are you going to watch do you know happy feet <laughs> well it certainly makes me feel happy that we're doing things like this as i don't know about you but that's a good suggestion yeah thanks yeah, it's, so it's one of my favorites as well coming into christmas time yeah, yeah. Um, and uh, so like I was, I was chatting to Gareth and he was talking about like sending stuff between classrooms as well. Um, yeah. so you got so, the, like, you know, the interview style, like we're doing, but then is there anything else that you can suggest that we can do with that? Yeah. So what we've been doing is we've been talking about sending maybe letters from one class to another, okay. um, just on any given week, sort of, um, a little bit of contact between the two classes that maybe isn't so virtual. But something that's easy for us to do and then we're also looking at um a new our school use seesaw as a way to contact parents and stuff but you can also use it to contact other schools okay. so it's something that we're looking into um for the future to see if we can kind of make it easy accessible for the children to even do themselves so, so that it's not always reliant on the teacher and sort of make the children being allowed to make those connections with each other and then it will make them feel more of that kind of real bond that they're making rather than the teachers always having to kind of be the ones to reach out for contact. So that's kind of where we're looking to go with it. Okay, well, like, uh, it sounds like you guys have done a lot of thinking on this in a, in a fairly, you know, short time. But uh, um, congratulations. And I just want to say, like, thanks for, thanks for your time. Um, I was a bit nervous speaking to teachers. Um, but Not all, sorry. Yeah, you could, you guys are pretty nice. You guys are pretty nice. So, um, so like, uh, just, I just got to say one more time. Thank you. I'm going to take this information back to, back to Gareth and, and see what he says. And then I'm going to see what we can do over at Edenbury with Holy Frost. But, um, bye for now. Bye, Miss Morris. Bye, Mr. Kellen. I think. Bye. bye. See you later. Bye. Bye.